Hello, this is Warlord. And what we're going to do is create a video out of this little sequence, this scene. Now, before we get started on that, we need to have a little discussion about video. You can create videos in MP4 format or in Windows Media that you can upload straight to YouTube. But it would be my suggestion that you actually go through an editor first, like Vegas, Vegas Home Studio, Magic, Pinnacle. There's all kinds of them out there. And that you use something like that to put it together with titles, credits, things like that. You can go ahead and do this straight out of iClone. But most people do go through these nonlinear editors. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at how we would render this out. Now, first thing we're going to do is go over here to the Render menu, and I'm going to pull up Render Video. Now, I'm going to dock this over here inside the tabs. You'll see we have Image and Video. Well, we're just going to stick with Video right now. Here, as you can see, are the formats that you can render out. Now, we're just going to stick with Windows Media for right now. And I've already got the quality sliders all the way up. Don't worry about exporting alpha unless you know exactly what that is. That's actually a mask file and things. And that is where you can come in and combine it in, in other software. Now, output size, I'm going to leave this at high definition, 1080, uh, 1920 by 1080. There are several. You can go up to Ultra. Uh, HD and there's custom but in this case I'm just going to stick with 1080 now if you wanted to do stereoscopic where you use the glasses the the 3d glasses then you would click this now in this case we're just going to render it out now we always want to make sure it's final render super sampling and be sure you're on high with high quality shadows because most of the time you're going to find it set to this setting here Now down here, this is pretty self-explanatory. You can export all of this, or you can just export a range of it. Now we click down here, and you can see it's already got our, our file there. I'm just going to call it test1. Okay, now you'll see it's rendering so many frames of 225 frames. So that means this whole thing is 225 frames long. And what it's doing right now is putting together the video where we told it to put that video and all it's actually doing is just copying frame by frame at whatever frame rate is set and generally that's 30 frames per second you can't see it it's right down here uh, if you're over in Europe I think it's like 24 over here it's really 29.97 but most do it in 30 frames per second really that's not even something you have to worry about just keep it above 24 frames per second and it'll look good if you drop down to 15 or something, it could get a little fuzzy and things look a little hazy. It's, it's not quite as good a render. Now, I'm going to come back after this is finished rendering so we don't have to sit here and wait for this whole thing. We're coming back to where it's finishing up the rendering. Just like a few more frames. Okay, now it's finished. And we can go ahead and open it and preview it right now if we want to. Or you could just tell it no. But wherever you save this video at, it is now available to be uploaded if that's what you want to do. But what I would really truly recommend would be to pull up something like Sony Vegas, some kind of editor where you drop in clips and what you can do is title it. You can add overlays to it. You can do all kinds of things with it. Now, there's all kinds of editors out there. It doesn't have to necessarily be Vegas or something like that. But what it does is allow you to assemble these clips. And that's just a little bit past what we're going to do on this. But you, as long as you did this in MP4 or in WMV, then you should have uploadable video that will go straight to YouTube if that's what you're looking for. 